Hello everyone, I'm back for another theory video. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, I'm Mike's Fox tonight, so big and Fox, and we're gonna do another Star Wars of Awesome Evil Theory. I don't know if I'm trying to make that a thing or, you know, any guess. Um, this is another theory that I kind of thought up of last, this I thought of a bit, like a day or two ago, and I don't know if you're gonna see this the same day that I uploaded the Deadpool trailer reaction or the day after. Um, this week's been crazy, but um, in any case, I wanted, anyways, I wanted to do a theory video again because I have another one being that I think Marco may be the last person to wield the wand <laughs> for a couple reasons. One, they're already kind of. A couple of reasons. One, that'd be awesome, and also would help later on if Marco does join the dark side or the forces of evil. Since the one that one, we already see that Marco's wand is already kind of looking evil. When well, quote unquote evil, because if you look at if each one is supposed to kind of reflect, you know, the person or reflect who they are. Star stars is light bubbly, uh, pink, pink colors of pink, blue, you know, stuff like that, giant star in the center, very big, um, that one, of course, star's personality, you have moon's personality, which is more, it's more slender, it's more slender, more just like, not plain, but regular style, which just looks all right, it look, well, it looks something like she would have, even has her hair shaped like a, kind of like a heart, and that's kind of somewhat, and then even like a uh, lobster claws, it switches between monster for it switches between nice monster and evil monster. So one, we also know that the one can transform depending on your alignment, I guess. And Marco's just so happens to kind of look what stars would look like if it went evil, <laughs> having black wings, darker colors, and more rigid, more rigid look than stars would, and. One, there could be a cool things that couple things that come from this. One being that, one, first off, if so Marco is the last person to ever wield this wand, most likely it's gonna be destroyed in his hands. And also on the flip side of that, that then means that Star most likely will use magic without her wand, which I kind of really want to see. Which one I know, which is not really that far off, since we now know that not only is Star currently more trained than, or more, has more magical potential than Moon does, but she also has magical potential that rivals Eclipsa. And on the flip note of that, she also entered the land of magic, which I'm going to ahead and assume that maybe will give her even more power. And she probably, and because she is, and because she can now even transform into her human form or her butter star form. I'm still calling it super star form because that sounds way cooler than butterfly star. Super star form. Um, because you can go superstar, that that then and also not only channel energy, we could most like channel energy, which yeah, we haven't seen her use it yet. Without the wand, but it's kind of a given most likely, since you know Moon is able to do that and channel her channel magic. Most likely Star will be able to tap into the world of magic. That she has her unicorn in and possibly even use that for power. And then on the flip note of that, she's even able to use dimension it create dimensional holes in the holes without the use of dimensional scissors. So she's already becoming super powerful. And then again, on Marco's side, even though yet yeah, even though yeah, he's uh you know fighting, even though he's good with physical combat, if he's gonna go up against Eclipsa or any other like bigger guys, he's probably gonna need a little bit more firepower. And also, because now we know that Marco can use the wand, he does use the wand. He even has his own cheek marks, um, crescent ones. Which I believe a lot of people will say like I think it's because Marco said it that it's because Marco is bo soul bonded to Star that he's able to use the wand. I'm not sure how true that is, since. Uh, you know, what was it? Uh, Lobster Claw is able to wield the wand, and I doubt he, I doubt he's soul bonded to Star. So, 
Yeah, that I'm, thro I'm throwing that out. I'm pretty sure to say that probably Marco has some magical potential inside of him. Maybe it is the connection with Star that allows him to even have the cheek marks, but who knows? Uh, but yeah, so Marco is so Marco having Marco getting the wand one one would help whenever we learn like. Like, if Marco does go dark, if Marco does choose to go to the dark side or possibly push there because of Tomko and Eclipsa, most likely just Marco going with Eclipsa, this would give a couple things. One, it would allow Marco to learn from these wand by Eclipsa, who used to use the wand. This would, one, probably see not a relationship like Hecapu or, like, Star, but that would be kind of a cool thing to see, like, maybe evil Marco learning from Eclipsa. And also would give a reason for Marco to go with Eclipse if for some reason he goes dark and takes the wand with him. This would also then throw kind of a good spiral into the mix if this ends, if season four happens. I'm not saying it won't, but I'm saying if season four happens and like the whole climax is that Marco is now on the forces of evil side, he that would then add a little bit more to the whole... Um, like, well, that, that would shake up Star's world, because not only did her friend leave, so did her main weapon. Her main weapon that she uses and was just still learning. And one, actually, this would actually be a pretty cool thing, because that then means that most likely, if Glossary doesn't get rejuvenated soon or whatnot, that Star may have to learn magic from her mother, which is something I've been wanting for a very long time. Because I want to see more Star and Moon interacting more. Seeing why sh why Star doesn't like her parents or her mother all that much. Because, again, her mom hasn't shown to be all that cruel or, like, all that bad. So, and at least not enough, I think, for Star to have mothering issues. So I kind of want to know how that's going to work out. Cause I want, because that would at least show, okay, she has to learn from Moon. Sweet, we get that bit, and then we, on the flip, again, I keep saying flip side. On the flip side of that, we can see probably Marco and Clipsa training together. Perhaps Mar perhaps Marco's like the child that Eclipsa did have, but is probably like being chased around as a monster. Um, for her to learn, for Marco to learn how to use the wand. I kind of really don't want Heinous to get the wand, you know. She she has a, I think a monster form. She has a monster form because apparently she's half monster. <sighs> so I'm also assuming I'm probably gonna make that theory, but um, I'm assuming Hanus's super form could be like, her superstar form could most likely be like the monster form. I don't know, but um, <laughs> but yeah, like. I want, again, like, I would, I like, someone just count how many times they said like. I would really love for something like this to happen. One, this would then show that, like, Star and Marco are kind of the end of an era, like the end of the wand, in a sense, if Marco's the last one to wield it. Or maybe in the end, um, Marco may, if Marco and Stardew get together, which most likely they will, and Starco is ha happens, uh, most likely then Marco will probably hand it down to their kids. But it would be kind of cool, again, to see Marco with this wand more, because Lobster Claw's wand, yeah, you can pretty much guess that's not going to have really maybe the biggest significance. Um, then Ludo, did Ludo ever actually grab the wand? I know he had the dream. I think he had the wand once, I can't remember. Uh, I'm not talking about, and I'm not talking about the, the shard, the wand, the toffee wand. I'm talking about, like, the actual physical wand. Um, but with stuff, but again, I would like to see a little more, because again, that'd be a whole lot more drama for the th fourth season, or assuming this season's going to end soon, because I don't know if, like, cause I, I think the last two episodes are whatever's next, and then the holiday episode, which I'm guessing will probably be, like, Eclipsa and everyone having, like, a Christmas on Muni, and then Eclipsa is probably going to betray them in some way, and that's going to... If that is, is the season finale, then that'll be how it ends. I feel like that's probably what's going to happen. Um, don't know if that actually will be the case. Oh, sorry. 
But I do want. But I do want to. No, I do want to. I think that's probably going to be the case. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at Wikipedia's list of Star Wars this episode, and they're like, it goes like there, and the thing like just stops at the holiday special. So, Fudge, <laughs> like I, I kind of guess that this would happen since yeah. But anyways, I'm off topic. Um, bank. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and sharing videos that I've done. Links are on my Facebook group. Buttons are on there somewhere. I'll probably make another video soon. But, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Do you want Marco to be the last wielder of the wand? Again, I'm assuming this is after Marco goes dark for whatever reason. Since, again, we also sh we show that Marco not only is able to use spells, which I guess technically anyone, and technically Ludo could, but not only can he use spells, the wand tr takes on his own transformation, and he has cheek marks on cheek cheek marks on his uh, cheeks so i want marco to grab the wand and you know wield it for at least maybe a season or two because that'd be kind of awesome be like tell me what you think in the comments below thanks for watching if you want to go visit that videos that i've done links are on the facebook ones are on there somewhere and we will see you later look i can open portal 2 without my super form yeah.